42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Keanu Reeves movies. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. For this list, we're looking at amazing movies where Keanu Sean is the star, and films where, despite limited screen time, he stole the show. There will be some minor spoilers ahead, so be warned. If you feel that we missed any noteworthy performances by the internet's favorite boyfriend, let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Man of Tai Chi while Man of Tai Chi may be the least well-known movie on this list, it also might be one of the closest to Keanu's heart as it was his directorial debut. A fine line separates a fighter from a warrior. One is motivated by reason, the other by purpose. Reeves cast himself as the villainous Donica Mark, the sadistic owner of a shady private security firm. Man of Tai Chi stars Tiger Chen as a Tai Chi disciple who's recruited by Donica to become a modern-day gladiator fighting for the pleasure of the ultra-wealthy. What's the matter? You afraid of what you can do to them? Don't be. While the film bombed at the box office, critics considered it a fun callback to old-school martial arts films. Whenever he's on screen, Keanu cranks the sinister creepiness up to 11 as Donica. <laughs> You owe me a life. Number 9. Constantine While Keanu may not have the blonde hair or British accent that Hellblazer comic book fans expected, he did make the cantankerous exorcist his own in 2005's Constantine. What if I told you that God and the devil made a wager? A kind of standing bet for the souls of all men. I tell you to stay in your meds. Critics weren't particularly fond of the supernatural noir, citing plot holes and slamming the CGI portrayal of hell. But even the most damning critics praised Keanu's portrayal of the chain-smoking sorcerer. Well, this has been real educational, but I don't believe in the devil. You should. He believes in you. Fighting angels, demons, and every monster in between, Keanu even manages to flip Satan the bird. The film has since reached cult status, and it was confirmed in 2022 that a sequel with Keanu was finally being put into development. I hope I'm one of your favorites. I'm not even welcome in your house. But I could use a little attention. Number 8. A Scanner Darkly Taking place in a near-future dystopia where the U.S. government has lost the war on drugs, Richard Linklater's A Scanner Darkly is an adaptation of the novel by Philip K. Dick. He doesn't kill anybody, but he hangs around until the situation arises where they die. And then he just sits there. Keanu stars in this rotoscoped sci-fi film as Bob Arctor, an undercover cop who wears a scramble suit, changing his appearance and voice. This is terrible. He looks, does he not, like a, a constantly shifting vague blur and nothing more, am I right? <laughs> Let's hear it for the vague blur. The film is an examination of anonymity and paranoia in a world where drugs and technology can warp both. As many critics at the time noted, Keanu is perfectly cast as a cop with substance use disorder who's lost and struggling to hold on to a sense of his own identity. I realized I didn't hate the cabinet door. I hated my life, my house. Family. Are you okay, Daddy? What happened? Number 7. Always Be My Maybe Though only on screen for less than 10 minutes, Keanu absolutely steals the show in Always Be My Maybe. Now I know what it feels like to be completely starstruck. The only stars that matter are the ones you look at when you dream. Fully embracing his status as the internet's boyfriend, Keanu Reeves plays a completely off-the-wall version of himself as the love interest of co-star Ali Wong's character Sasha. Movie Keanu is ultra-horny, physically aggressive, yet still incredibly polite and charming to everyone he meets. I love the suit. Classic. Thank you, thank you. It's my uh, old tux from prom. <laughs> That's great. I dropped out of high school, went to work followed my dream. He and co-star Randall Park get into a wild fight where he maniacally demands that he be punched in the face. A fan of Ali Wong's stand-up, Keanu was so excited to play this role that he managed to carve out a small four-day window while shooting John Wick Chapter 3 to get his cameo in the can. So, 
What'd you think about him otherwise? <laughs> well, you know, I think he could dial down the theatrics by like 10,000. Number six, Point Break. Directed by The Hurt Locker's Catherine Bigelow, Point Break was one of three Keanu Reeves movies to come out in 1991, and his first foray into action hero stardom. You can't just walk up to those guys. You have to get out there and learn the moves, get into their head, pick up the speech. You're trying to tell me the FBI is going to pay me to learn to surf. In Point Break, one of the biggest stars of the 1980s, Patrick Swayze, passes the torch to one of the biggest action stars of the 90s. Tell me where she is, and I walk away. You walk away? I walk away! That is beautiful, Johnny. Keanu's undercover agent Johnny Utah joins Swayze's crew of surfing, skydiving bank robbers, only to discover a deep affinity for Swayze's life philosophy. The film is so deeply etched into the Gen X zeitgeist that it was famously referenced in Edgar Wright's action movie homage film, Hot Fuzz. Have you ever fired your gun up in the air and gone, ah? No, I have not ever fired my gun up in the air and gone, ah. Number 5. My Own Private Idaho also released in 1991, My Own Private Idaho couldn't be more different from Point Break. All my bad behavior I will throw away to pay a debt. I will change when everybody expects it the least. Appearing opposite lead actor River Phoenix, Keanu co-stars as Scott, the rebellious son of the mayor of Portland who works as a male sex worker. In the early 90s, the role was a brave choice for a young up-and-coming male actor. I'm trying to make a living. I like to have a professional attitude. When asked if he was worried about it hurting his career, Reeves joked, quote, Who am I, a politician? No, I'm an actor. Both Reeves and Phoenix were lauded for their performances, and the film is considered to be a seminal example of 1990s independent cinema. You wouldn't even look at a clock unless hours were lines of coke. Dials looked like the signs of gay bars. Or time itself was a fair hustler in black leather. Number 4. Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure is the film that catapulted Keanu Reeves to Hollywood stardom. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden? Excellent! As Ted Theodore Logan, Keanu is one half of the rock band Wild Stallions, destined to save the world so long as they pass their latest high school history assignment. Cue George Carlin as Rufus, the boy's time-traveling protector. Together, Bill and Ted use Rufus's time-traveling phone booth to amass a crew of famous historical figures for their history presentation. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! No way. No way. Yes way, Ted! Though the plot may be more than a little zany, the film's sequels get even crazier. Bogus Journey sees the boys take on the afterlife. Then, almost 30 years later, they even go to prison as they try to help their teenage daughters in Face the Music. Dude, I got a very bad feeling about this. It'll be fine, Ted. They totally love us in the future, dude. Number 3. John Wick Chapter 3 – Parabellum John Wick won us over with a path of bloody revenge, and the sequel dragged us deeper into its shady world. But the third installment, Parabellum, steps up the gunfu action to a whole other level. I will serve. I will be of service. Featuring exhilarating fight scenes and chase sequences, Chapter 3 sees our weary hero traversing the globe, dealing with the fallout of defying the criminal underworld. It seems the manager has granted him amnesty. Mr. Jonathan, would you be so kind as to come with me? This chapter brings in Halle Berry and Angelica Houston in memorable roles, and culminates in one of the best fight scenes in the series so far. The John Wick films have reset all our expectations for action combat, and Keanu is one of the main reasons why. Is it any wonder we saw the release of John Wick Chapter 4 in 2023? Under the circumstances, your privileges are reinstated immediately. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Number 2. Speed Arguably one of the quintessential 1990s action movies, Speed brought in a staggering $350 million in 1994 dollars. Why is all this happening? I mean, what do we do, bomb the guy's country or something? No, it's just a guy who wants money. Keanu stars as LAPD SWAT officer Jack Traven, who has to save Sandra Bullock's character and the other passengers of an LA city bus that will explode if it drops below 50 miles per hour. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it blows up. 
What do you do? Co-starring Jeff Daniels and Dennis Hopper at his campy best as the mad bomber Howard Payne, Speed promises heart-pumping action and delivers non-stop adrenaline. With wild action, solid humor, and explosions galore, Speed really is everything you want out of a 90s popcorn movie. Is there a plan? Just for you to drive. We're okay for now. Just keep us above 50. Good plan. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Devil's Advocate. Keanu gives the devil a run for his money. And the single most important provable fact of this proceeding is that Alexander Cullen was somewhere else when these horrible crimes took place. River's Edge. A young Keanu really brings the teen angst. I don't know. I just figured we could dump this place, you know? Go up there, and if we like it, we stay. Don't come back. <sighs> what if you get Portland? Well, nobody knows us up there. People know us here. Much Ado About Nothing. Showcasing both Keanu as a villain and his love of Shakespeare. In this, though I cannot be said to be a flattering, honest man, it must not be denied, but I am a plain dealing villain. A Walk in the Clouds. This is one of his dreamiest and steamiest romances. You know nothing about my daughter. You hear me? Nothing. I know that she is good and strong and deserves all the love this world has to give. Can't you see that? How wonderful, how special. Special she is. Toy Story 4. He nearly steals the show as toy daredevil Duke Kaboom. Wait, are you that toy? So, here's the plan. We need to jump over the aisle to Gabby's cabinet, and you are the toy to do it. No. Duke. Nope. Duke. Nuh uh. Duke. No way. Duke. Pass. Duke. Negative. Duke. Rejected. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Matrix This cyberpunk classic changed the action movie game forever, leaving a leather boot print on the face of 90s pop culture. Okay, so what do you need? So that's a miracle. Guns. Lots of guns. While the three sequels weren't as well received, the original is a trend-setting reboot of the genre, helping to usher in the era of CGI. Inspired by philosophy and Hong Kong-style wire foo, The Matrix has some of the most complex combat sequences ever shot. The directors, the Wachowskis, had to have a 600-page shot-by-shot storyboard submitted for approval before the studio allowed them to start production. Several A-list actors were originally attached to star as Neo, but Keanu Reeves ultimately landed the role. And we're glad he did, because Keanu is the one. Being the one is just like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it, through and through. Movie Keanu is ultra horny. <laughs> Oh my god, what? <laughs> I can't believe I have to say that. Okay, well, 